Well, you guys can probably tell my shape of this hood, what it might be going on. If you've been following the channel, it's going to go on a OBS F-150 I'm building. I really don't care for the cow hoods that they're offering for these things. And I definitely don't care for the price. And I really definitely don't care for the shipping. Because... Their shipping's outrageous, I think, for what it is. No no heavier than a hood is, but we're going to get into uh, making our own cow hood today. What I'm going to do is clean this off, and I'm going to start marking it, kind of marking out the design that I want to use. I want to go ahead and try to go off of the, the factory line, just so I don't have a a scoop here in the middle and it drop down and then you got another drop and then you just look like you got a box all the way around i'm gonna try to make a decent design it's gonna be fairly wide i don't know how it's gonna look being that wide but if you've seen my other obs my chevrolet obs you can kind of see what we've done there it turned out pretty good Got it sitting outside here. It's pretty wide, and we use the uh, the factory uh, seams to go off of on this too. The deal is with this hood is we wound up just going to the junkyard, grabbing another hood, and stacked them, and just welded on, and just kind of sheeted the side. Well, it turns out that made it really heavy, but it does look good. It it came out nice, and. Uh, we're gonna do this other hood a little different just to try to keep the weight out of it and i don't know i may try to make it a little taller overall than what this one is i try to keep this one a little lower profile i may get a little extreme with this other one but i'm gonna get this thing marked off and kind of show you what i'm looking at you can kind of see here what i'm going for I just went off of this uh, factory seam, this crease, and back here I measured over half inch from the crease, in the middle an inch, and up here an inch and a half. I'm going to cut it all the way to this factory little bend. I've done that on both sides. I'm not going to cut across here on the front, I'm going to leave it where I can uh, just kind of pick it up. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break this loose from the factory glue and the, and the uh, little support brackets underneath. And then I'm going to cut the back right on top of here all the way across so we can raise this thing up. Uh, what I'm going to use to cut this is an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. I'm going to get it cut and I'll show you my next step.
Now I got it cut. See my precision engineering tool here. But uh, that's kind of the look I'm going for. Overall, it's going to be about a three inch scoop. Now I'm going to go get some pieces of 18 gauge and just kind of lay them in here and start tacking this thing up. Now see I just pulled it loose, pulled the stock good loose from the frame. I'm going to probably go back in here and tack some supports just so this thing don't just flop non-stop. This is kind of the general scoopage. What it is, got some old bolts kind of stuck in here just for height reference. What we're going to do is go ahead and just tack the heads of them to the frame. And then we'll find some 18 gauge to kind of lay up here and kind of start tacking and molding that thing in. And then we'll probably extend this back. I usually like the top of the scoop to be inch, inch and a half further back than the actual hood here. And then we're going to box the back of this. And I'm going to put some uh, holes in here and put some expanded metal or some wire mesh just so it can get some air. You can see when I was cutting it, I got off. The wheel wasn't wanting to turn. And uh, I wasn't wanting to stop to readjust, so... It's all right. It's all going to work out in the end. Well, guys, you can see I'm going to step further. I started tacking my sides on. Yeah, it looks like crap. We just got a little flux core Harbor Freight welder. Kind of we got the back going. Still got to do this side, but... I don't know, kind of on the fence. If you decide to do this, I mean, you're definitely going to have your own different hood, your own challenges. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to keep going or discard of this. I really don't like how, how stubby it is here. I was wanting to come out and kind of put the, the cow kind of over the, uh, the vent cow itself. But with the different shapes of this hood, it's made it quite difficult. Because not only is it rounded this way, it, uh, it's concave this way too. It's not just square. If it was nice and square, it'd make it a lot easier. But it don't look bad being stubby like this. I'm going to come in here with a hole saw. After it's all finished up, put some vent holes back here and put some wire mesh across the inside of it. But I'm going to go ahead and get this other side tacked on and uh, see if this thing turns me on. If it don't, I'll take it back out to the junkyard where I found it. It's starting to look decent. It's a... Uh, it's half of what I had envisioned in my head. But I think we're going to call it a day, call it a video. You can kind of see what we've done. And if you want to see the finished product, consider subscribing and follow the build. If you got any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Like I say, everybody's is going to be a little different. I wished I would have been able to extend this back here or it would extend over the vent cow, but I think it's going to look just fine like this. Be a little different than everybody else. Like I said, we're going to put some holes back here, put some mesh behind it so it'll help get some of the heat out from underneath the hood. And anybody who's ever welded sheet metal, knows that welding this much without warping it to hell is gonna be a timely process so i'm not even gonna try to video that y'all got the general idea 
I've got to make a couple little more pieces to fill these corners. We're going to get it all welded up. Get it all ground back down. Sand this hood down to metal. And then uh, we're going to skim coat this thing in filler. And get this thing all looking nice. Get it all blocked out. Get it looking like it should once again. But for now, we'll catch y'all on the next one.